Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am here to do a video for you to talk about how to get over the fear of home buying. Let's face it, we're getting to the end of the year and a lot of you all have had the fear of home buying stopping you in the tracks to purchasing your property, okay? You may be scared of your credit application, I mean, your, your credit score, your loan application. You may be scared of the funds. You may be scared of the entire process altogether. You may have fear that has bottled you down and broken you up just because you've listened to other people's horror stories or you've read different articles online, not even realizing that that does not apply to you, right? You just may be scared because because this is just all new water and you don't know. But now here we are, we're coming to the end of the year and you're like, I still have not reached my goal. So I wanna make this video to encourage you to let you know that one, you can do it. Two, that I'm gonna hold you accountable. Accountable. Three, that if you're in my area, you're using me as your realtor. And four, to let you know that it's not as hard as you think and that you can truly get over the fear of home buying. A lot of us have adopted this fear that has crippled us in the process because we are just too busy paying attention to everybody else. But see, the biggest thing is, thing that I point out is that we pay attention to all the bad stuff, but we see all the good stuff. I'm pretty sure you watch my page, right? So if you're on my Instagram page, you're seeing all the amazing testimonies and good stuff, but that's not enough. You're still allowing the negative, the myths, the myths surrounding the home buying process and everything else to hold you down and handicap you to the point that you're not reaching your goal. But no more of that. We're not doing that at all. Okay. We are going to get you in your house. It is the end of the year and we're going to get over that fear. All right. So let's talk about the top five things that I should that I suggest that will help you get over the fear of home buying altogether. Okay. The first one is to trust yourself. A lot of us have trust issues and I understand it. We don't trust ourselves and we don't want sure don't trust nobody else, right? If that's you, push your hand up in the air, right? A lot of us have trust issues and it's okay, but it's not okay especially when you're not even trusting yourself, right? So that means we got to go back to the drawing board, redefine ourselves, the stories that we tell ourselves, and learn how to truly trust ourselves and know that if we set a goal internally, that we can truly get to that goal as long as we, one, believe exactly what we're saying, two, create the plan, three, execute the plan, and four, trust ourselves. All of that goes into goal setting, not only just surrounding home buying, but that's just period in general. You need that in order to make sure you're reaching your goal. So you need to trust yourself and know that, listen, if I set my mind to this, I can really get this done. This is what I desire. This is what I want. This is what I deserve. And I'm going to go get it. Nothing and nobody, including myself, is holding me back for my glory. Okay. That's number one. Number two. Trust your realtor. And again, I know that word trust is like, ah, why do you keep telling me to trust people? <laughs> Especially me and my realtor. Why do you keep telling me to trust people? Because you need to trust people. Okay. You need to trust yourself and you need to trust your realtor. Now I get it. I'm not going to be able to work with every single person in the world. I would love to, but I have touched millions and millions, thousands of thousands. And I am seen across the globe just about right about now, right? Hip hip parade to me. But if you're in my area, DC, Maryland, or Virginia, I'm your realtor. And I want for you to trust me. If you're not in my area and you're working with somebody else, that's your realtor and I want for you to trust them, genuinely, okay? We're not trusting daddy who thinks he's a home inspector. We're not trusting grandma or grandpa who bought a home centuries ago and think that the process is still the same. We're not trusting the best friend who thinks she, he or she knows the best house for you. We're not trusting mom who has every opinion that weighs on you so heavy that you can't even make a decision about on your own because of what she thinks. We're not trusting that. We're going to trust ourselves, the process, and our agent. And I'm not saying that to discredit those people because they are very vital in our lives. We love them. We trust them. We value their opinions. Absolutely. However, when you're in the home buying process, it's important to trust the professional. Trust the person that you are working with. If you don't trust them, find somebody that you trust. But you will make your process a whole lot harder if you are going neck and neck, battle and battle with your agent 
about your process when your agent knows exactly what you're doing, what they're doing. Let me tell you guys something. I'm a top producing agent. Top in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. Top Washingtonian agent. This year, I'm on track to do $55 million in sales, okay? I've closed over 200 transactions. Can I tell you from the bottom of my heart that not one transaction was the same? Not even a little bit. Not one was the same. Nobody's real estate process will be uniform across the board. Each home buying transaction and transition looks different. OK, so you cannot go off of what everybody else is saying and trust in their opinion because that's not your story. Right. And we are not going to lean on the stories of others and put those on our lives and our perspectives and then bottle ourselves down. Right. We're not creating that bottleneck in our lifestyle. OK, so what I want for you to do is to trust your realtor and trust yourself. That is very, very, very important. OK, three know that it isn't as hard as you think. I know it's easier for me to say it than for you to actually realize it, but wholeheartedly, it's easier than what you think. I can sit here and break down the home buying process for you right now in like eight, eight easy steps, probably less than that, okay? Let's do it. One, find a realtor. Two, do a loan application. Three, get pre-approved. Four, Find a house. Now, I'm going to stop right here, okay? I'm going to stop right here. Find a house. Finding the house is the hardest part, and I'm going to come back to that. Four, find the house. Five, go under contract. Six, get inspection and appraisal. Seven, submit your conditions. Eight, get your clear to close. Close at the toes, closing table. Get your keys in hand. That is your home buying process, right? But let's go back to four, where I said finding your house, right? Finding your house is your hardest part of home buying, and I'm going to tell you why. Because you have to find a property that one, you, you like, or one that you love, two, that you can see yourself in for the next three years at minimum, okay? And three, that the seller will actually accept that offer. Now, depending on what type of market you are in, depends on the likelihood of how that's going to happen, right? If you're in a seller's market where there's a lot of competition on one property because inventory is low, then it may be a little hard for you to get your offer accepted the first time, the second time, the third time, or even the fourth time. It may even get discouraging and dismayed. And if you're in that type of market season right now, I encourage you to be encouraged, okay? I'm encouraging you to be patient. I tell people, pack your suitcase with some patience because we got a ride, right? But let's just say if you're in a buyer's market, when the inventory, you know, may be a high, may be healthy, and there's not as many buyers out and people are finding their houses on the very first time. The last time I seen this was probably like in 2017, right? I could write it off on the first house and boom, we got it accepted. And that was also with closing help. Okay. So if you're in that market, it may be a little bit easier, but the hardest part is actually finding the property, finding something that you love and finding something that you can actually get. Once you find your house, it happens like this. Literally a snap of a finger like that, right? That's how quick the home buying process goes. Once you find your house and you go on the contract, boom, you're closing within the next 25 to 30 days, okay? Four, another way to get over the home buying process is to simply do the loan application. I know that's probably one of the most scariest parts and your anxiety kicks up because you're like, oh my God, am I really about to do this? What is the lender going to say? What is my credit going to be? My credit going to be? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Can I just give you a hug? It lets you know that the loan application don't take no more than 10 to 15 minutes. And the loan application is not going to kill you. The loan application is going to help guide you. And in this moment, because you are so afraid, you need the guidance. Okay, the guidance is valuable and is necessary for you in this moment, because if you can get qualified right now or if you can't get qualified right now, either way, the loan application will help you. If you can, it's going to let you know how much you qualify for, what programs you can get into and let you know that you can start shopping. Hip, hip, hooray. If you can't, it's going to let you know what exactly you need to be doing right now to make sure you can be pre-approved. But don't run from the loan application because that is the very first step. You need to do it before you go walking into these properties thinking it's about to be your house and you fall in love and you do the loan application and you can't make it yours. Now we have all these emotions involved and we're so upset and we're comparing every other house to the property that we saw that we wasn't even approved for, right? 
Do the loan application first and know that it's a benefit to you. Don't be afraid of it because you need it, okay? And five, let your guard down. Be willing to learn, listen, and apply. Say that again. Let your guard down. Be willing to learn, listen, and apply. You got to learn the process from your agent. Not from Google, not from your friends, not from your family, not from your coworkers. If you have a very good agent, such as myself, your agent will sit you down and do a consultation with you and explain the entire process to you from beginning to end. And while you're going through the process, you will be educated each step of the way. That is first. So be willing to learn, okay? Be willing to listen. You must listen because some of the things your agent or your lender may say to you, honestly, you may not like. You may not agree and you may not understand. But I encourage you to remove the emotion and listen because there are a lot of rules, regulations, and things that happen in the home buying process and the lending process and the contract writing process that the average person don't know. So you have to know how to listen so that way you can better make decisions, okay? And then three, apply, okay? So once you learn, once you listen, you apply what you have learned and listened to, the process of application, right? Once you apply, now you have planted your feet in the ground and you can keep moving on to the next step, right? So you have to apply the knowledge that the professionals are giving you to get you to the goal. And I say that because there's a lot of people that I've spoken with who I've told them, this is what you need to do, A, B, C, and D, right? They listen to me, they learn, but they fail to apply, right? And I ask myself sometimes like, why are you not applying it? You know, what else could I help you do to help you reach your goal? Why aren't you applying it? And sometimes it just all buckles back down to that self-trust and that fear, right? You're not applying it. Most times, I know for myself, I'm going to lay out each and every step that you need to get to where you're going to go, right? I'm going to lay out what the process looks like to make sure you get there safely, make sure you arrive on time, and make sure that you arrive without any conflict. I'm going to try my best. Right. So if I'm doing that for you, I need for you to apply the information that I'm telling you, because the moment you try to stray away and do stuff on your own and think that you can fix your credit and think that you can go and say this to this person and think that you can submit your documents late and think that you don't got to turn on your EMD, the more that you do that, the more you mess yourself up. OK, and I'm going to be transparent. There are some people in their real estate transactions who mess up their own deal because they're not listening, they're not learning, and they're not applying, right? They're not trusting, okay? So those are my top five. I hope that you enjoyed it. My name is Althea Hurts with Samson Properties. I'm the team lead of the Hurst Home Team. You can find me here on Instagram at I am Althea Hurst. You can find me here on YouTube at out there hers and i look forward to doing more videos with you guys and talking to you guys more about the home buying process about business about every and anything that i can help you with love you guys and thank you so much for watching Mwah.